So, hi everybody. I thought that we would go ahead and do a science lesson today. Many of you uh, had this lesson and all of you were ready for this lesson. We had you slated to get it uh, in the next couple weeks. So I thought, why not? Let's just do it here. And this is luckily a lesson that you can do at home too, pretty easily. I have my science equipment, but you can just use cups and things like that. I would say like a, a juice glass would probably be best, but you really only need household items. I have some colorful sand. I have, well, chalk powder you might not have at your house. You could grind up chalk if you wanted to. It's terrible sounds. I don't recommend it. Uh, sugar, vinegar, and some baking soda. And anything else that your parents, parents, your parents say is okay. Did you hear that? Your parents say it's okay. You can't just be mixing everything in the world. That's a blue crayon. Is it a color? So Emily's with me because her daddy still has to work in the office. So she's been with me as I work on giving lessons. So I might have to stop here and there and help her Clara. I think once we get into it though, she's going to be down. So without further ado, let's get started. So I have my test tube kit right here. I'm going to go ahead and flip them over so that we can put some water in them. It's pretty, isn't it? We're going to pour some water in very carefully out of my big beaker. So we're going to put water in each of our vessels. So for us, that's test tubes and probably also some cups. For you, that might be some cups. I don't know, some of you have test tubes? It would be pretty rocking if you did. So I'm just pouring some water in. Sweet. I'm going to start with those. And I'm going to start by just putting things in my test tubes, all right? So, I'm going to start with sand. We're going to put sand in here, Em. I'm going to put some sand in one. I'm just... Using my fancy pantsy science scooper here. Oh, look at that. It's kind of like raining sand. So there's one. So we have sand and water. If I can get this back on. There we go. Uh, let's do chalk powder. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think of that? Like that. Good idea. Ooh, look at that. Turned white. Yeah, that turned white. I guess that's our chalk powder. Let's do vinegar now. I'm going to hold this one up. Ready? All right, we got some vinegar in there. Uh, we're going to do some baking soda. Yeah, baking soda. Ooh. Is that the lid? Scientist Emily has lots of valuable input. Okay. Can I see the lid and put it on? Oh, thank you. Then we have sugar. Notice in our classroom, this says science supply. Sorry, I think the camera might be mirrored. I don't know. We'll see if I figure out how to fix that in post-production. Okay, so I'm putting sugar in. Mm. You guys been baking anything with sugar? I made a cake yesterday. Just FYI, I'm a terrible, terrible baker. I am the cook of the family. My husband's the baker. He had to swoop in and make the buttercream icing because it just wasn't going, wasn't going very well. Now, I have some paint. So I'm going to squirt a little bit of this paint in this test tube. I'm pretty sure, as long as it's not plugged. Ah, success. Ooh. Got some paint. All right. So, I'm going to stopper these up. Here is the sugar and the water. I'm going to mix. So, I'm going to put my thumb here. I'm going to shake. If you're using glasses at home, what you can do is you can just use a spoon. Right? That's what it looks like right now. 
Oh, my stopper's coming out. Jeez. Getting stuff everywhere. All right, I still see some sugar down there. He really doesn't want to stay shot, stoppered. Shake, 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 shake. Shake, 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 shake. Shake, 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 shake. All right, let's look at it now. Mm. Oh, dropper popped off. I don't see any more sugar in there. This is the vinegar. I'm going to give it, let me show you beforehand. I'm going to give it a shake. Not really much of a difference. It just looks like clear liquid, right? All right, let's try the sand. Here's the sand. Put my thumb on it. Shakey, 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 shakey. Oh, look at that. It just went down to the bottom. All right, now let's try the chalk powder. So this is what it looks like. You see, you can kind of see it's a little bit more white at the bottom. Let's give it a shake. Shakey, 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 shakey. It's the shaky sound. Oh, okay, it's like almost all white now. Yeah. Well, let's keep an eye on that one. Now we're going to do the paint. Let me get this excess paint off here. Oh, bye, Emily. All right, that's what it looks like right now. You ready? Shake, 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 So, let's see, my sand and water pretty much didn't come together, did it? Mm -mm. This looks pretty promising. Chalk powder, we're going to keep an eye on it. This is the vinegar and water. It looks like all the same thing, doesn't it? No, here, it's got red paint on me. Here's the sugar in the water. There's still a little bit of sugar down there. Let's see. Let's shake it some more. Where are you going, Emily? I'm going to shake it, shake it, shake it some more. You're going to sit right there? Okay. She's moving. She's relocating. She's going to move all, she's gonna move all the chairs. All right. Now when we really look at it, look. You got nothing. Okay. That's one. And we have a layer of bubbles and then pretty much just red water. All right, I'm going to do one more thing. Here I have a beaker. And I'm going to pour. I don't have a fancy thing for my oil right now. Pour a little bit of oil in the beaker. Pour some water in there. Let's take a look. It might be kind of hard to see on the camera, but the oil is sitting kind of on top of the water. Let's see what happens. I'm going to take one of my stirring rods. I'm going to give it a good stir. Let's see if I can set up my black paper. It's kind of hard to see. Huh? I'm going to hold it as close as I can. So you can kind of see there's oil floating on the water. This would be a really good one for you to try at home. And then I have one more thing I want to show you. So, oh look, look, look. I don't know if you can tell yet, but it's lighter on top and darker on the bottom. It's starting to separate. Hmm. Let's keep, we'll, we're gonna keep letting it go. We'll see what happens as it sits a little bit longer. So these things are kind of just sitting side by side right now. These things, however, liked each other so much that they became one right you know the sugar just you know the word i want to say it starts with a d dissolved into the water 
and the paint just kind of mixed with it, didn't it? Now we just have red water. And the vinegar just mixed right in with the water. It just looks like it is just water, but it's not as water vinegar. Don't drink it. It's gross. Don't drink any of this. For real. So I have one more thing I want to show you. I have this container of sand. All right. And I'm going to get up and I'm going to come closer so maybe you can see a little bit better. So here I have this sand and I'm going to mix this in there. Ooh, just like this. And when I pull it out, look. Those, my dear friends, are iron filings and inside my handkerchief which what happens when I reach inside my handkerchief and I move the magnet boom it all comes off so this looked like one but we were it's actually just two things sitting side by side so I'm gonna put that on this side so we have two categories here we have things that sit side by side sorry Emily's in the moving chairs right now Things that just sit side by side are called mixtures, okay? So, oh, let's look at the chalk powder now. You can really see it sitting side by side. You see that? It's all settling down at the bottom. Things, these things on this side liked each other so much that they just became one thing. They're not really sitting side by side anymore, are they? And these things that like each other so much but they come together to make one thing. Oh, oh, that's not working. Are called solutions. So solutions are two things that like each other so much they form into one. And mixtures are two things that like each other, but they just kind of hang out side by side. Like that. Okay? So you can do this experiment at home if you want with any number of things. Again, with your parents' permission and with an adult present. You can make all sorts of mixtures and solutions at your house and separate them into different categories, okay? So here we have most liquids. We did have one that was a solid. I wonder if you should mix together something that isn't a solid. Oh, give it a try. See what happens. Um, again, parent permission. Clean up all of your things when you're done. That's your work and your responsibility, just like we do here at school. And thank you. And Emily's going to keep moving some chairs around. You know, maximum effort of the toddler. It's pretty great. All right, guys, I miss you, I miss you, I miss you. Email me if you need me, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.